What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to the Amount of Vibes, boy. All right, thank you for tuning in to another video. That's right, we have another reaction video for you guys. Coming towards you. Hope you guys are doing awesome. Hope you guys have an amazing day or have an amazing day. All positivity, no negativity. You know, positive. So today, we're going to be reacting to why Cuban cigars are so expensive. And I always ask myself, that uh, Cuban cigars are really expensive? outside of Cuba. In Cuba, they're quite reasonably cheap, you know, because they're from Cuba. But, yeah, let's get into the video. If you're new to the, ch oh, if you're new to the channel, smash the like button, subscribe, turn on post notifications, all that good stuff. Follow me on all social platforms. Yeah, let's get into it. I really want to know because I wouldn't say I smoke cigar. Anytime I try to be bougie, I just, I want to put it in my mouth and light it. I don't really, it, it, I don't know, it's just me. It's something, but anyway. Cuban cigars hold a reputation as the world's most opulent tobacco product. A box of good quality Habanos can cost thousands of dollars. Every hand-rolled Cuban cigar goes through about 500 manual tasks from seed to cigar. But over the last 25 years, cigars made in other countries in the Caribbean and Central America have become comparable in quality, consistency and cost. Worse still for American smokers, your Cuban cigar could be fake. Yeah. Some experts suggest that up to 95% of all Cuban cigars in the U.S. are actually yeah. counterfeit. Yeah. So why are Cuban cigars so desirable? 95. And is that why they're so expensive? For more than 200 years, the culture of cigar making in Cuba hasn't changed. In a process that takes about a year, tobacco leaves are grown, harvested, and hung in dry houses, called secaderos, Ooh. before a slow fermentation occurs, which enhances flavor, aroma, and burning characteristics. Each leaf is inspected for its type, appearance, and quality, and handed to a torcedor, a highly skilled cigar roller, greatly respected in Cuban society. Otra hoja que se llama seco, que es el de la aroma. Otra hoja que se llama volado, que es el que se encarga de la combustión dentro del tabaco. Le sigue el capote que envuelve el, el ligero, el seco y el volado. Y la última hoja es la capa, que es la que viste el tabaco y le da la presencia del tabaco. Okay. The heartland of Cuban cigar production is in Pinar del Rio, Everyone the western most province Cuba of the island, where 70% of premium cigar tobacco used by state-run cigar companies is grown. Cuban tobacco growers claim that the fundamental influence on quality is the region's terroir, the unique environmental factors that affect a crop. Lo primero para considerarse mejor tabaco del mundo es que hay cuatro factores que lo hacen único en el mundo, y es el suelo donde se cultiva el clima de la región donde se cultiva, la mano del hombre y la variedad de tabaco negro que se utiliza. Se, muchas veces han tratado de llevarse la cepa, han tratado de llevarse la semilla, han tratado de llevarse la mano del hombre, pero en todos los lugares donde han puesto con condiciones similares no se ha logrado de la misma manera. But some cigar connoisseurs now argue that cigars from countries like Nicaragua and Dominican Republic, which the industry calls New World Cigars, have become both desirable and reliable in the market. The offering has become improved incredibly. Uh, the presentations are excellent, the blending is excellent, the construction is excellent. In very general terms, New World Cigars are better quality than Havana Cigars uh, because they have better quality control procedures. Havana has been very much behind the curve on quality control. I would say on an average box of Cuban cigars, 25 cigars, it's not unusual to get three that are unacceptable in terms of quality, usually in terms of construction or blending. Um, whereas on an average box of 25 New World cigars, I would expect all 25 to be absolutely perfect. 
despite the flaws in quality control, Mitchell, who's an expert in vintage Habanos, still prefers Cuban cigars. Everybody's a I would say I smoke eight Havana cigars to two New World cigars, and I absolutely adore Havana cigars. However, I very much appreciate New World cigars as well. It's nice to mix it up because there really isn't better, there's only different. So, you know, it's not a case of Cuban cigars aren't the best. They're the best for me, they're the best for a lot of people, but 40% of our customers, the best is New World for them. So it's just personal preference. In addition to quality, there are a few fundamental factors that determine the price of all cigars. Firstly, the size. Measured in both length and diameter, generally speaking, the larger the cigar, the more expensive it is. Secondly, the Vitola. Differently shaped cigars which take extra time and consideration when rolling. Thirdly, the age. The longer a cigar has aged, intensifying the depth of flavour and aroma, the more precious it becomes. But lastly, and most importantly, is the branding. Listen, I'm sorry to cut it out, but cigars can go for a grip. You know, cigars can be quite, quite expensive. Just let me notice. And cute. Oh, you know, I, I, the reason why I find it so fascinating is because I like cigars. Not to smoke, but I just like the theory behind it. I don't know why, you know. And for those who feel like you inhale it, you, when you smoke a cigar, you don't inhale it into your lungs. You just hold it in your mouth for flavor. You just let it out. Some people allow a little bit of the smoke to the, 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 the smoke to come inside, like to go down there. You know, but for beginners like me, but I don't. I don't even say about smoke cigar. That's a thing. I don't know. Okay, let me say this. I occasionally smoke a cigar, which is rare. Like, I have to do something tremendous to say, let me go buy a cigar. Habanos is the corporation part owned by the Cuban government that controls the worldwide commercialization of all Habanos cigar brands. All Habanos cigars are made in Cuba, but not every Cuban cigar qualifies as a Habano. The state-owned company issues protected denomination of origin approval for a selection of brands whose cigars it claims are manufactured to the most stringent quality control standards. To protect against counterfeiting, Habanos only exports to selected companies in each country. The only nation it does not sell to is the United States, which hasn't allowed the import of Cuban cigars since the 1962 embargo, action no. by President John F. Kennedy, who just hours before signing the decree banning all Cuban products from the United States, Yo, ordered his press secretary to buy over a thousand Cuban cigars. Wow. Not only did this... Jeff Kennedy will y'all be great. Before he banned it, he bought he bought a thousand. The ban increased the desire for authentic Cuban cigars for American smokers, but it also created a booming black market for smuggled and counterfeit cigars. There's just so many fakes around in the U.S. You can't buy Cuban cigars and get them shipped into America. It's illegal for the Americans. And therefore, I don't know where they're buying from unscrupulous people. Maybe the fake situation has declined a little bit since Obama opened up that you could travel and purchase Cuban cigars and bring them in personally if you've been on holiday somewhere. You know, I think you could bring in up to $800, I think. And above that, you can bring in whatever you want and pay a very small amount of duty. So it may have improved slightly, but I would say probably 95% of the cigars that are supposed to be Cuban cigars that I've observed quite simply are very bad fakes. Despite being the only country that cannot legally import Cuban varieties, the U.S. is still the top cigar-consuming country, by a considerable margin. Fake the cigar industry has grown substantially worldwide in the last 20 years, and researchers previously predicted the market would reach $21 billion by 2025. The cigar traders have long questioned Cuba's supply capabilities, an issue made even more problematic amidst a global pandemic. Can Cuba continue to supply wow. as much um, as we need to feed the demand of our customers from agricultural problems to shipping issues recently due to coronavirus slowing down the shipping lanes? Will that ultimately feed through to the market by prices increasing or discounts reducing? That remains to be seen, but I think that's the more likely scenario. As with any consumable, taste and enjoyment are subjective. That's so neat, the man. The status symbol in society for over a century. It's reasonable to say that the allure of Cuban cigars is somewhat based on prestige. And although high prices are fetched for some Habanos, 
particularly where outlawed in the United States. In recent years, all variety of premium cigars have become uniformly priced. Nonetheless, despite an increasing appetite for cigars from other countries, some connoisseurs will insist that the most authentic smoke comes only from Cuban cigars. Wow. Cuba lit, man. All my Cuban fans out there. Hola. Yeah. I really want to go Cuba, man. I really want to. I just want to go Cuba to go on like a like an old little restaurant, get a little cup of coffee with a cigar, just kind of light, right? And just hold it. I don't want to smoke it, I just want to hold it. Just sit up there, ah! Let me tell you, cross my legs. If that boy get my legs crossed, just sit up there, drink my little cup of coffee, my Cuban coffee, smoking up. Yes, ah, hola, como te amo, mi mi. Senorita, hey, Senorita. I'm like crack you for all, but yeah, I guess they man, they still even stay. Why so expensive? Okay, okay, it's age long. Okay, nah, they got a point. It's age long and it's handmade. Yo, but y'all see how neat that is. Be it is being neat and pretty. They do that by hand. And I, I, I've, I've witnessed people roll, I've witnessed um, cigar experts roll cigars before. Like, dip the, I don't know if it's water or whatever, I, I'm assuming it's water. Like, dip the hand in water, touch the leaves. It's a, it's a very pretty, good process. But, nevertheless, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Smash the like button, comment, all that good stuff. Yeah, it was cool. But, until we meet again, remember, the world is yours, even Cuba. Peace.